Welcome back. On this week's episode of MWD Adventures, we continue our three-part series of questions we asked hiker trailer owners at the third annual hiker trailer camp out east. This week, we'll hear the answers to the second question. Is there anything you wish you would have ordered from the factory that you didn't? So I have Raj and Carol here with me. Um, they purchased theirs as a used unit. So and it's just ser very serendipitous. We have these same shirts on. How so. did you choose them? You have great taste. You have great taste. What is something that you wish would have been on the trailer that wasn't when you got it? Um, you go ahead because it uh, happens on your side most. We, we would have definitely had the... Um, the second door. The second door. If we yes. had ordered ourselves, yep. the woman we bought it from was a single woman. So um, yeah, two doors would be very helpful. Yep. Yeah. But you make do. We yeah. do. Yeah. We do. Probably one of the third roof racks, oh. maybe even both. Okay. Because there's a third roof rack you can get if you're going to add a, a rooftop tent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the front one if you're going to oh. like carry like a canoe Kayak or, or something, something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. It'd probably be that. The Max Coupler. Oh, okay. Mm. Why would you have gone well, with that? I've been in a little off-roading and mm -hmm. kind of issues with the buying out. Okay. So is there anything you wish you would have ordered that you didn't? At this point, I don't really think so. I think we've got kind of like the bare bones and things we really like and that we want. And um, probably in the future, we'll add some other things. But right now, we love it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm here with Barb and Tom. And so they've had their trailer for how many years? Two. Yeah, I, I wish we would have had shelves um, put in next to the galley. <laughs> you know, above the pass-through? Yes. Yes, above the pass-through. We added a, a shelf and we have, you know, we added some hooks and hang some stuff. But if we would have had something installed permanently, that would have been nice. And then what's one thing you wish you would have had put on the trailer that you didn't? Well, um, that would be uh, the awning, which we didn't add for two or three years later. So we should have got that in the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got Tim here with me. Hello. So what size trailer do you have? It's a five by nine extreme off-road. Okay. What's something you wish you would have ordered that you didn't order? Nothing. Yeah, huh? we pretty much got almost everything in it that we wanted. Perfect. So everyone here at the camp out has awnings. Mm -hmm. So that is the one thing I want is the 270 awning. Yes. So I don't think I've seen any other trailers without it. So I definitely think that's one thing I would want. It's yeah. on your Christmas list, Yes. Mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is something that you wish you would have ordered on the trailer that you didn't originally? Well, for me, uh, it would be the uh, tankless hot water heater. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you wish you would have put on the trailer originally that you didn't? Go ahead. An extra foot. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have the 5x8 and we really wish we would have bought a 5x9. Okay. Yep. Especially with you and the dog. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty cozy with the three of us in there. Yep. Right? All right. I'm here with Pat and Beth. Is there something you wish you would have ordered in the first place that you didn't? Um, I would like to have ordered the 5x10. I think a lot of people we talk to, when you get yours, you wouldn't. I wish I got the next Just one more foot. Just one more foot. Yeah. But yeah. Yep. That's what I wish. Okay. Hi, I have Carla here with me. Is there something you wish you would have added that you didn't? Maybe the table out here would have been nice. Okay. Yeah. But um, I keep it simple and less complicated. When I had it built, I asked him if there was anything I need that I didn't have. So he put on an extra hitch. Okay. And the spare tire. Yeah. Yeah. So. Have you ever had to use a spare tire? No, and if I did, I'd be up a creek because I know I couldn't get it down. <laughs> That's what you call AAA. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is one thing you wish you would have ordered on the trailer that you didn't? Hmm, well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the shower issue. He said, you know, this cycle trailer, you know, you could have a hot shower on the road. I mean, it's it's yeah, it's perfect. And, and he shows it, me so. shows me this wonderful, you know, thing on the side of the trailer, and I'm thinking, that's wonderful. Okay, I'm on board. What I ended up getting was a little bucket with <laughs> with a hose and a little shower. Little okay, shower head. okay, so it's not <laughs> yeah, hot. Yeah, hot showers have not been had. And well, and um, that's the next mod. I got bait and switch. It was yeah, a bait and switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have Hannah and Jackie here with me. 
they bought their trailer as a used one. Um, is there anything that you wish would have been on the trailer that wasn't when you got it? Um, we wish it was bigger. <laughs> we have uh, three large dogs, one uh, of which is currently a four month old puppy. So it gets quite cramped in a five by eight. So. Because you originally were looking at five by, five 10, by ten. So a yeah. sacrifice to get it early. Yep. So is there something that you would have added now that you've been camping in it for a season? Um, I'm trying to think of anything. We, we really like everything we got. Mm -hmm. I think when we ordered it, they didn't have the XL option to give the lift. And I'm six feet tall, so it's, I hit my head. <laughs> I'm on and, and I'll have a lot of tall friends and they hit their heads too. So if we could get a lift, like an aftermarket, and go back in and get that adjusted, that would be great. So I have Crystal here with me. So you purchased your trailer used, correct? Yes, I did. How long have you had yours? A little over a year. Okay. Um, what's something that you wish would have been on the trailer that wasn't? Uh, the roof rack. Mm -hmm. So I ordered and installed that myself, so. Very good. I'm going to have to say I'll speak on my wife's behalf. She would have rather us had the fenders that we could set stuff on top uh, of instead yeah. of the round ones. I like the round ones just because of the look, but yeah. And I, I agree with her a little bit on that. It would have been nice to have a little flat, flat surface. surface. Yeah. Mid-range XL. <laughs> but that wasn't available. It wasn't available when we ordered, but uh, <laughs> having seen a few here, mm -hmm. we pretty much agree that, yeah, that was, if we could go back in time and just convince them to start building it a little earlier. So why why the XL? What would the... Uh, just to have a little more ground clearance, a little more oomph without needing the full on yeah. extreme. Because yeah, we don't we don't take it that far off road, but we get a little we, we push the envelope on this one. Yeah. And so definitely. a little extra envelope would be nice. Yeah. yeah. All right, I have Dwayne and Teresa here with us. Um, you may recognize them from previous videos. What is something that you wish you would have ordered that you didn't? Lithium battery. Lithium battery. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So what is um, something that you wish you would have added that you didn't to start with? Um, not really anything that, you know, we, th we thought about the options that they were offering and there really wasn't anything that they had that we really thought we needed at the time. Mm -hmm. my, my spare swings to the right and my galley door swings to the left. And at the time uh, it was an extra charge and I was already in a little deep, but <laughs> very happy with it. Uh, and I didn't think it was going to be a big deal on, well, I have to live with it now, but if I had something different to do, it, that would be uh, what I would to, uh, choose to have the tire swing to the Correct. left. Correct. Swing to the left with the, uh, with the galley door. Right. All right. I have Bryant here with me. Is, is there something that you wish you would have ordered that you didn't? Um, the Max fan. Um, one of the things I've got the, the typical vent, and as of right now, it works for us. But I'm thinking more time in the future. Uh, the Max fan was probably something that I wish that I had had put on, and okay. you know, possibly thinking about doing in the future. Okay. Nice. Yeah. All right, what's something that you wish you would have had the factory put on that you didn't do? We both agree on this one. The size. An bigger. extra foot. An Are extra you a 5x8? Yes, yeah. it's a 5x8. Okay. Yeah, maybe go um, a little bit bigger. Yeah. Just a foot would have made a big difference, mm -hmm. and I think we would have put all of it in the cabin. Yeah. The kitchen's deep enough, mm -hmm. 17 inches, but I think in the cabin. Okay. Maybe to a lithium battery. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't had any problems with our AGM, it's worked fine, yeah. um, but I just me being me, I, I find myself monitoring it more than I probably need to. Um, but with the lithium, it would be nice to kind of just be able to drain it down or, you know, a little bit more freedom with that. But do you have solar set up? We do. We have a solar panel that we hook it up to. Um, and that, like again, when it's nice and sunny out, that does come in handy to just be able to hook up to solar. So. All right, I'm here with Lee and Jessica. So you got yours used, correct? Yes, we're actually the third owners. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. What is something that you wish would have been on it when you got it that wasn't? Uh, the awning, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Electric, too. Electric, yeah, that makes it nice. <laughs> third owner, there was no awning or electric on no. it? Wow. <laughs> what is something you wish the factory would have put on it that you didn't do to start with? I can't think of anything at the moment. You know, maybe AC, but I, I think that uh, that's just one more thing that can go wrong, and I don't need it. Um, probably the road shower. I don't know okay. if a four or seven gallons needed, but one of them I think would be nice to have. But I can always add it on later. It's not yeah. a real big thing. So. Perfect. What is something you wish the factory would have put on it that you didn't go ahead and order to start with? Um, we did order it. I'll tell you what we just did. We have the third row, third bar we want a rooftop tent but we didn't specify that we need it in the space for where the third the 
rooftop tent goes. Mm -hmm. So it's on there, but it's not going to be helpful for a rooftop tent. So that was a lesson learned. If you want to do kayaks, you're all There set. we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put the Thule up there, I guess. Right. So. <laughs> right. I have Colin Ford here with me. Um, you've seen him in other videos. We call him the mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> and what is something you wish you would have had them put on the trailer originally? Okay, that's, that's a tif difficult one because I got it sort of basic and then been doing my own mods myself. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there has been anything lacking. Um, I think maybe uh, different electrical packages. We wish, I remember now, I wish we would have done the big door in the back. We had the smallest door that mm. you can get the small fold up one. I wish we would have done the big swing out uh, sideways. Yeah. One. I don't think they even do the flip door I don't door think they anymore. even do it anymore. Is there anything you wish you would have ordered from the factory that you didn't? Uh, nope, not really. I okay. think we're good. All right. All right, I have Brad here with me. Um, him and his wife Susan have been on the road for four months in the trailer so far. So they've had a lot of experience on what works and doesn't for them. Anything you wish you would have had the factory put on that you didn't? We have a five by eight and we wish that we would have gotten a five by nine. That extra foot means a lot if you're full-timing yeah. and we probably would have gotten a different awning. Okay. Anything that you wish you would have had the factory put on that you didn't? So with uh, one thing going along with the first box, we wish we had rails installed, which we initially did have and um, ended up not being, weren't able to do it after the, we were told that it could have been done. So. Not a big deal, but it was just more of the communication of, of, that it wasn't. So yeah. that was the one mod that we wish we could have. Could done. have had, yeah. And but actually, I could add to that. We wish we could have the AC as well because we mm -hmm. have the AC um, port AC set up, and then yeah. we got involved with that where the AC that gets they stopped. Yeah, they're not making it. All right, I have Jim here with me. What is something you wish the factory would have put on it that you didn't order originally? Uh, as an option that I could buy, mm -hmm. uh, the Propex heater or some sort of uh, auxiliary uh, heat because I, I find I, I love camping in the winter with this. Oh, yeah. um, we're actually pretty happy with it overall, um, but the one thing that we've seen others do is the mounted um, water jug on the side because mm -hmm. we lug around the seven gallon thing. Uh, it'd be nice to just have it there in one yeah. place. So. I have Haley here with me. Um, she also has a YouTube channel called Trailhead Adventures. So you've been having fun with your family out and about? Yes, we do. We love it. Is there anything you wish you would have ordered on the trailer? Yes. We have a 5 by 8 right now. A 5 by 9 would have been a lot better for that extra space. And also the solar would have been nice. Okay. The on solar. Yep. What is one thing you wish you would have gotten upgraded from the factory? Or is there? Because <laughs> we know, looking at this, you've done a lot of your own mods to the trailer. Yeah, I had a lot of my own ideas, and and we just kind of went with that, and yeah. they 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 kind of went beyond what was offered, mm -hmm. and we did it. So okay, I wish I had a b bigger tongue box. Mm -hmm. I got this in 2018, so there are a lot of things available now that were not available sure. then. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to have electric inside and in the galley because I use it in both places. Yeah. for medical equipment. Um, outside lights would be nice. <laughs> so the list could go on and on. So is there something that you're debating about having them add on that you didn't, that now you're thinking, eh, I kind of wish they would have? So far, no. Okay. But you know, in two days, it's hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> you might come up with something by the oh, end I'm of the weekend. Oh, I'm sure I will by the end of the weekend. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed hearing what real hiker trailer owners had to say about things they wish they would have added to their trailers. Next week, it's all about the mods. Check out what hiker owners have done to their trailers to make it their own. Until then, get out and do some camping.